I think we got to the point where you have to get on board with the technology or you're going to get left behind. Music production is starting to get really weird. We're seeing the use of AI in pretty much everything that we do as a home studio musician, from suggested settings and plugins to things like Automy that can transform a vocal performance into a totally different vocalist. Now you might have seen a video where I dove deep into what Automy is, how the AI voice modeling works, and how you can use that to make your music sound professional. But after I made that video, I asked the developers at Automy if they thought that you could make a voice model of harsh vocals or screaming vocals. <laughs> Certainly the robots couldn't do that, right? Well, the response I got from the creators of Automy kind of freaked me out a little bit. They mentioned that one of their users had already made a voice model of their own screaming vocals, and it sounded pretty legit. So I really pushed back on the creators to make voice models for rock and metal producers to transform their vocals into harsh or gritty sounding vocals, because that is something that is really hard to do. And there's not many people out there that can pull it off. But if producers or home studio musicians had a tool that could take a scratch vocal and turn it into a pro sounding gritty vocal, that would be a huge win. So that's what this video is about. We're gonna see how good this AI technology is and if we can really create a believable harsh vocal performance using Automy's AI voice transformation tool, which is free by the way, to just get started and play with. And by the way, Automy is sponsoring this video and they gave me access to this vocal software so I could check it out for all of you guys. But as always, you have my word that everything I say in this video is my honest opinion. All right, so here is a little snippet of what we're in for. Now, if this vocal AI thing can recreate that style and that sound and that aggression, I'm gonna just be blown away. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on Automy, let me break it down what Automy actually is. So Automy is just this website that you can go to. It takes your voice, dissects the nuances to it, and then transforms it stylistically into these different vocalists, which is really cool because it maintains the inflection and the style of your voice, but it just sounds like a different person. So if you hate the sound of your voice, this is what you need. And in that previous video, I tried it with rappers, I tried it with pop singers, it works really, really well. All you need to do to change your vocal performance, you literally just drag and drop your audio file for your vocalist. And they've actually gotten so good since I first started using this, they can now remove the vocals from like a track that has vocals on it. So you can literally drag and drop your favorite band, extract the vocals, remove the instrument, and then transform the captured vocal into another vocalist. So you can do remixes and all, all this other stuff. It is crazy. It is such a fun thing to experiment with. So we're just gonna drag and drop the vocal right here. And it's going to load it. And then we have to choose our voice model. So you can see there are so many voice models. You can go soul, Afro beat, dance, hip hop. Like I said, they have rappers, they have uh, pop singers, country singers. What we're interested in for this is rock, okay? And there's two voices that have this grittiness to them. One is Blake and one is Ragnar. So let's listen to Blake. It's time left today. you have a song, you know, where there's like a powerful chorus and you want someone who's really pushing and belting really aggressively, Blake would be a good choice. But what I want to do is test out how aggressive we can make this voice model sound. That's where Ragnar comes in. This voice model has a lot more grit and it's more screamy sounding. Check it out. So we're going to choose Ragnar for this. And then you change your settings. I find I don't ever have to mess with this stuff. And we click convert. And then in a matter of minutes, it spits out your new vocal performance. Now at this point, we just download our new vocal and load it into our session. Let's import in that file we just got. Let's do a little bit of uh, comparison, but let's, uh, let's just do the raw sound first. So we'll start by playing the raw screaming track and then the raw track that we got from Automy. Sounds pretty metal, man. 
Now, there are some segments where there's some scream singing. He will sell you your gray if you're a modest kisser. Something else to note is that the Automy voice models were trained, I believe, with English-speaking voices, but they seem to do really, really well, even if you're singing a different language or if you have an accent. It'll actually pick up on your accent and implement it into the voice model. It's, it's wild. All right. So now you've heard the range that this vocalist is doing in this song. So let's see how good Automy did at taking that insane performance and converting it into an AI-generated voice model. Here we go. I'm so excited. This is either going to be amazing or it's going to be absolutely terrible. All right, so here we go. Here is the Automy voice model of this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's go to the original. Hang on. I got to go back. Hold up. Hold up. And then this is what Automy made. It's not the same thing, but... It sounds really good. It sounds like there's another vocalist that has like mids when the vocalist is doing highs. All right, hang on. We got to go back. We're going back to Automy. Let's change the semitones up an octave because we want it to be a high, right? Highs are high pitch. So this voice model, it, it took that and brought it down an octave probably because it was trained on a lower voice. Let's see if we can retain that high kind of feel by transposing that vocal performance, but shift it up uh, an octave, and then we're going to click convert. We could just layer it and then build up the vocal performance based on this approach. And you know what? While we're at it, let's just do another one at two octaves up and make it super brutally high. It's probably going to sound like trash, but let's just see. And here's the cool thing about Automy is you can do a lot of these things all at the same time. So you're not sitting around waiting, okay? And then we could do a low. Uh, it'll probably sound brutal. So let's do an octave below too. Why not, right? We have the technology. And to be funny, let's just go down two octaves. <laughs> this is going to be so brutal. I don't even want to wait to like load it in the session. I just want to preview it here. And this is the original. And here's the two octave version. So I feel like the two octave approach didn't really translate. Let's mess with this conversion strength. Let's put set that to zero so that we can retain a little bit more of the characteristic from the initial vocal. And then let's try the conversion strength all the way to 100 because why not? I don't, I don't know what it does. I'm just trying to make it sound brutal. All right, let's preview what the lows would sound like if we pitch it down an octave, okay? Here's the initial conversion. Let's go down an octave. That sounds, that sounds metal. So I think if you're going for something that you want to really match the vocalist, especially if you have brutal, like, deathcore vocals, you want to have the conversion strength around 30 or less, maybe even zero. That's going to help to bring the performance through on the vocal model. Just look at this guy. He's like, he's not quite metal. Really, Automy? This is what you think of a screaming metal vocalist looks like? I bet this picture was AI generated. Sorry about the detour. It's very important. So now that we have these different takes where some of these voices were transposed up an octave, lowered an octave. We get slightly different flavors for the AI generated vocal. And so now what we can do is piece together the performance the way that we want it to sound. So let me give you an example. So this first segment, right? That's just like super brutal highs. So we'd probably use this take of the vocal up, right? That sounded pretty good. And then we can actually just transpose it up to make it similar to the original take. All right, maybe not like that because that sounds like chip monkey, but maybe like one or two semitones. And uh, let's listen to it now. And go to the original. Not quite there. What we can do at this point is just comp this stuff. Okay, so we'll comp a performance of all the AI voices. So then the next part is that like brutal low. So let's go octave down. That sounds pretty good. I don't even think we really need to do anything with that. 
So let's uh, just clear out the other takes. All right, so we have those two. What's this one? I think this is another high. Uh, let's listen to this one with the zero conversion strength because that one is going to retain the most character from the initial input source, so that initial vocal. That sounds pretty good. I'll take that one. Let's listen to octave down. They sound pretty comparable. Um, we'll just stick with this bottom one. All right, and then the last part. Cooperation of this. Yeah, so those are the lows. We're just going to go with the low voice model. Cooperation of this. And we can lower it, right? We can transpose it down a semitone or two. Cooperation of this. Let's play back the comped AI generated vocals in the context of this song. We traded this singer for a virtual AI robot. Here we go. <laughs> That sounds so. That is ridiculous. Let's listen to the original take. That that is so good. That low is so good. Automy, do me a favor. You guys need to get some brutal deathcore vocalists to do highs, and you need to train your AI voice model to have crazy brutal highs. Because the lows sound good, the mids sound good, but these highs aren't quite cutting it. But I will say this sounds unbelievably good. Let's check out some of the scream singing parts because I think this is where it's really gonna have a hard time. He will show you your way if your mind is kissing, if you follow life skipped. All right, so that's the original performance. Let's check out the AI vocal performance. Here we go. He will show you your way if your mind is kissing. Hold up, hold up. Did it generate rustling around in the background? Hey, if you're... So <laughs> it simulated a vocalist moving around in between the takes? That is terrifying. They're coming for us. The robots are coming. You will be counter in the wheel. I mean, do you, it even gets the breaths. It like captures the breathing. You will become and like the the struggle, like the long slow breath. It, you can kind of hear it's a it has a little bit of artifacts, but the fact that it's like not getting rid of that and that's part of the sound. This is crazy, guys. Man, I want to hear what the original. Did the original have that kind of voice in it? You will become yeah. So it was there in the original. You will become <laughs> in the wheel. I know that was supposed to be a high. Let's see if the octave up captured that crazy high. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That sounds gnarly. <laughs> the octave up is not right for the singing vocals, but I love that. That high sounds really good. That's awesome. I want to hear it in the context of the music. You will be closer in the wheel. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. There's no escape. Oh man, this is gonna be a game changer. Let's go back to the original performance. He will show you your way. If your mind is kissing, he will show you your way. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like believable. It's passable. Good news. If you suck at harsh vocals, check out Automy because you can get some pretty brutal sounding vocals with the Ragnar um, voice model. Yep. What, what do you think? 
Do you think this is a good thing for music? Do you think this is a bad thing for music? I don't know. I'm really torn. I don't know. I think this is only going to get better and better with time. And if you're not using these types of tools, you're going to get left behind. I think there's going to be so many creators out there that are enabled by this type of technology. And they're going to be able to finally realize the songs that they're hearing in their heads. And we're going to have a lot of crazy, good, unique, interesting music coming out. I think this is going to become standard practice using tools like Automy, using AI suggested tones and stuff like that. I mean, this is the future. So you can refuse to change and just be stuck in your ways, or you can try to use the stuff that's coming out to your advantage and create some cool sounding music. Yeah. So I encourage you, check out Automy. You can play with all these different voice models for free. You can even train your own voice model. I was able to negotiate a discount for you, my viewers. So if you want to try this out and you like it and you want to subscribe and start downloading high quality stems and using these things in your music, use my coupon code that's in the description. It's going to save you some money. And basically the next step after this is to make it sound good in the mix. And so if you want a awesome vocal delay guide, I literally have an entire ebook of my favorite vocal delays, and you can grab that in the description right now totally for free. So you can sign up for Automy for free. You can download my free vocal delay secrets ebook for free. This is a pretty solid video. You're getting a lot of value here. My name is Bobby Balo. I'm the mixing and mastering engineer at Raytown Productions, and I'll see you in another video.